Broadcasting from Abu Dhabi Airport, live en route to Thailand, uh, with said tired eyes uh, and glasses covering tired eyes. And this is probably take 652 because recording video in an airport is really difficult and they keep having tunnel announcements. So let me try and get this over and done quite quickly. Good, I hear you say. <laughs> Uh, what am I trying to say? All oh, right, yeah, I, I'm actually broadcasting to you. Broadcasting? Who am I? Hey, BBC News. Um, <laughs> I'm actually recording this with a lot of excitement and joy and anticipation in me about the next six months that are going to unfold in front of me. Uh, but it wasn't this this time last week. I had a lot more uh, fear, anxiety, um, panic <laughs> in me, uh, all over things that were beyond my control, which my brother did point out to me. Um, not going into details, but things like sorting visas out, getting train tickets, and um, getting to the yoga school on time, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so anyway, so he kind of reminded me that these things were out of my control, and that I was using a lot of my energy, and a lot of my time towards these things that really I couldn't do anything about. And it suddenly dawned on me that, oh my goodness, he's right. You know, if I'd actually stopped putting all of this energy into these situations that I really couldn't change, then how would that have adapted or changed my last week, the experience that I had of the last week of being in the UK? Rather than being stressed and tired and panicky, I, maybe I could have had fun and relaxed and did more enjoyable things and spent time with more people um, and also you know he said that the energy that I was using on these situations wouldn't it be a great idea if I saved that energy because again can't do anything about them but save that energy and stored it up ready for when a situation or circumstance to unfold in front of me where I actually then do need to react uh, and then I would have that energy to do that because he made a point that sometimes you know, our job on this in this world is actually to react to the circumstances rather than try to manipulate them or adapt to them ourselves. Not all the time, I would say. You know, I think that there are many circumstances in our lives where actually, you know, we can we can have a say or we do have a say and we can uh, have it unfold the way that we want to. But there are times when we can't do that. And, that, and having that energy to be able to react and it's about what you do in those moments which are really important. And he was right. So it was in that time that I just gave up that need to control. And it was then that I suddenly get, started to get excited. And I also then was able to see that a lot of my uh, anxiety was um, self-imposed again because I had this expectation around, no, oh, that's right, it's a shit, it's a shit announcement, you can't hear it. Um, I had this expectation around what was going to happen over the next six months. And I was very fearful of those expectations not being met and when you don't meet expectations that's when disappointment is a result so I had a fear of disappointment but again you know I've got to let that go what if I don't do or achieve what I thought I wanted to over the next six months I mean who is going to be disappointed only me and who's to, to say that you know the alternative that does happen in those six months isn't going to be even better than what I wanted no I'm going to carry on talking, I'm just going to talk closer. Um, you know, who's to say that it's not going to be even better? So, moral of the story... Um, try to release that fear of disappointment and just be happy with what you've got. React to circumstances as and when necessary. Act in the situations where you can act, where in those situations where you are in control, and those that you are not. Just release, relax. Let it happen, let it unfold, because in fact, you know what, those circumstances could actually be a blessing in disguise. And just wait and see how much energy you save and where you can put that energy into new wonderful experiences and turning those potentially disastrous situations into wonderful glorious ones, where you might unfold something new about yourself or meet new people or have a wonderful experience. Lots of lessons learned just for one quick conversation. So I'm very pleased and I hope that I've shared uh, some useful pieces with you too. I haven't got anything witty to say right now. I'm trying to think of something. It's not working. Maybe it's too late at night. I don't know. So let's stop it there. Otherwise I'm just going to look stupid. And you're going to get bored and you've probably turned off already. <laughs> I will speak to you when I get to Thailand.
Mwah.